Hi, let us understand more in detail about master key and encryption and its role being played as a part of seal and unseal operation within HashiCorp Vault. Within Vault, we will be storing lots of crucial and confidential information like password, access token and the data that is getting stored as a part of the storage engine needs to be protected. And one way of protecting the data is removing the access from the user. And another important thing needs to be taken care of is encrypting the data before storing them. So to encrypt the data, I need some key or password. So within the storage, I will be storing the data. I cannot store the data as such. To encrypt the data, I need a key. So with the key, I can encrypt the data, but still the data will be vulnerable if the key is accessible by someone who is not supposed to have the data. So I need to protect the data as well. So I can store the key also within the vault and assuming vault is a safe and secure location. And here also key can be accessed by someone if they get hold of the access control or the permissions. So what I can do, I can use another master key to encrypt this particular key before storing into the database. And again, this particular master key needs to be stored in some safe location. Always it is not recommended to store the key in a single location or with the single person. That's where Shami's secret sharing algorithm comes into picture where this particular master key will be divided into n number of keys and each key will be provided to an individual person or it can be stored in some different systems. There are n number of systems available to store this particular divided key and I can set a threshold how many number of keys required to decrypt the data and it is not necessary to provide all the splitted keys Say for example, in this particular slide, I have split the master key into five partitions and I can set the threshold, say only three keys are required to unlock or to decrypt the key. In that case, I can provide any three keys to decrypt the data and this is what the keys was provided when we were using the file as the storage and initializing the vault. Again, I am going to recreate and initialize the vault and see how this particular key will be splitted. Again, there may be a question, what if the person generating the key stores a copy of this particular key and how the security breach will be handled. That's where we can store this particular splitted key as a part of some cloud providers like AWS, Azure or Google Compute Cloud. We will be seeing in detail about how to store this particular information in various KMS and what that particular KMS is. As of now, we will be using the key or token provided as a part of the file system while initializing the world server. So in a quick summary, we learned about the high level information about master key encryption and how those data will be protected along with the key and Shami's key sharing algorithm.